a little bit better today. It's a little bit better, not, not as cold. Just a little, feels just crisp. Feels crisp, huh, man? Crisp would be the word? Well, we're about to leave this crispness. And I think it's good, we're going colder. I think we're going a little bit colder. Going to Indiana. I've never really been to Indiana, I don't think. I think we drove through, drove through the top, but we never spent time in Indiana. So we're headed to Indiana for soccer. Tay's got some games. Um, so it's daddy daughter, daddy daughter trip this weekend. So we're gonna head out. Uh, Mackenzie has prom tonight. Big, big deal. I'm missing, missing my baby's first prom. Kind of bummed, but that's all right. Mom will be there to document and everything, cover that. I'm excited to go to Indiana. We're gonna make a quick stop first. We gotta go get Tay from school. She had to go do a study group thing, but she is missing today. And then uh, we'll head out, head north towards Indiana, about a six hour drive. So we'll, we'll see what we can get into today. Who knows? All right, Tay got out early. Lucky I went, you. I went to school for she went to school minutes. for like 30 minutes. It's a study. It was it's even, good. it was before school too. I know, it's a good thing that you went, got it out of the way. She, kids straight A suit. Don't have any worries with her. But, <laughs> we gotta make a stop. We gotta make a stop before you go on the road. <laughs> oh, she hates when we come by, I think. This <laughs> weekend. That's why I'm here. I'm here from here. Look at it. It's the local yokel. Y'all know? Local yokel works here, too. I'm gonna do... Is that Butterfinger on my hands? This is the best one. That's that's my favorite donut here. With the Butterfinger. That's the recipe that's up there on that wall. It's the best tasting. Dude, those are my huge. All right, and then I uh, want an apple fritter. All right, you got all your donuts? All right, I got three. Do I say All you guys... See ya, Babs. Bye, local yonko. Bye. Bye, everybody. Have a good week. Bye. And I figure we get some sugar for the road. Why not? Gotta go find coffee, though. Oh, yeah. Just not a fan of the coffee here, but it's all right. A lot of people like it, so that's good. And we're gonna go find some coffee. All right, so five and a half hours. Straight shot, straight up through Kentucky. Um, we gotta veer off a little bit, but uh, I don't know. Interested to see what the drive looks like. Hopefully it's pretty. I mean, it's springtime, so we shall find out. Taylor's team isn't gonna be up there until later. We obviously wanted to, we always try to enjoy our drive, take the drive, you know, take advantage of seeing new stuff. So we're cruising through Kentucky, just outside of Lexington. And as most of y'all know, it's the famous bourbon trail that goes through Kentucky. So we haven't ever stopped at any of the distilleries. It's always been on our bucket list. Um, there's a Ragnar run that goes through there we've always wanted to do. It's always been sold out and never been able to do. So we are gonna stop at one of my favorite whiskeys, uh, my favorite whiskey bourbons is um, Buffalo Trace. And it's right here in Frankfurt. Uh, we also saw a sign for Rebecca Ruth. Mm -hmm. Rebecca Ruth chocolates, have no idea what it is, but they are a fine chocolate maker in the area. Thought it might be associated with Baby Ruth, but it's not. Uh, but they look like they had fantastic chocolate on their site. So we're gonna stop there too. Figure why not? We've got plenty of time, we're gonna stop. This distillery looks gorgeous, it's right on the river. Um, and then who doesn't love chocolate? And then it looks like they have Buffalo Trace chocolate at that place too. So now you're combining two things that are just blowing my mind right now. But we're gonna go check out Buffalo Trace. Alright, so this is kind of cool because I've always wanted to come to the Bourbon Trail. There's so many. You got Wild Turkey, you got um, Jim Beam. You got a how does that not smell good? I'm trying to think about that. It smells like uh ethanol. No, it's like a brown it's sugar. like a brown sugar smell. So I don't know, it's it's a cool spot. It's right here on the river, like I said. It's a family oriented thing. It's good for families. There's all kinds of tastings. All the tastings are sold out and the tours are sold out because it's COVID, it's reduced and all that stuff. So whatever. I still want to come walk the grounds. It's kind of cool, and then we'll go check out the chocolate place. But this place is huge. Look at it. I had no idea it was this big. You guys went to Coors mm -hmm. in Colorado, mm -hmm. and you thought that was big. Mm -hmm. This bigger? Yeah. Think? I mean, it goes this whole way, but yeah, I'm pretty impressed right now. 
Okay, so that's that's the line for the gift shop. She said it's about an hour. building has barrels barrels of whiskey and bourbon all the way to the top wow all right so kind of a bummer didn't get in there i wasn't gonna wait an hour we're hungry we need food um there's plenty of other stuff we could do along the way maybe should have stopped at a less lesser known distillery maybe not as popular buffalo trace is awfully popular right now cool spot though tons of tours to go on tasting tours all kinds of stuff it's all complimentary you just got to book ahead and have reservations and like i said with everything going on with covid they're just very strict on how many people can go in and do what but really cool spot a lot of history there uh so i'd really like to come back and enjoy it if we can but all right go find some chocolate now and we'll, we'll get some whiskey in the chocolate that'll work we at the candy store there's no line here that's good The Kentucky, the Mint Kentucky Colonel, and the Bourbon Ball. Sold me. Chalk Derby for me. I love it. Bourbon honey, bourbon syrup, okay. you love bourbon this truffles. Part. It's like a C's candy. And we don't have C's candy back here, but this is better, I think. 67. <laughs> Spent $67 on chocolate. So it's like a C's candy. They had all kinds of assortments. We got a variety of just the milk chocolate ones, which the girls like. Got Mackenzie a dark chocolate. And then I got the Buffalo Trace. I'm so excited for these. I'm, they're 100 proof. They're 100 proof. Buffalo Trace. So there we go. Kentucky Bourbon Chocolates. They're 100 proof. These and are then... World famous since 1919, inventors of the bourbon balls. I got two little bourbon balls to These try. These are the... That's alcohol free. They make everything alcohol free or with alcohol. So you have your choice, probably. And then your bourbon balls. Probably shouldn't eat and drive, I think. Yeah. Can you get drunk off of chocolate with bourbon in it? I don't know. Oh, well, I gotta find out, but. Okay, <laughs> cool. Fun little, uh, try to kill some time in Kentucky, Frankfurt. It's the capital of Kentucky. For some reason, I did not know that. If you were to ask me, I would have said Lexington, Lexington probably. Maybe Louisville. I wouldn't have said Frankfurt. Yeah, but definitely. cool little town. This would be a fun spot to come like stay. Uh, if you're ever coming out this way to go do the Bourbon Trail, to do the Kentucky Derby, all that kind of stuff. So really cool spot though. All right, to Indiana we go. Why is it always us in hotel rooms right now? The I door is unlocked. You're in. <laughs> Clearly not in. Hold the back of your phone against the lock. Oops, that didn't work. <laughs> Go in, hurry. <laughs> this is ridiculous. We just don't have... <laughs> I hate hotels, honestly. At least these windows open, okay. At least these windows open so we can climb in the window if we need to get back in our room if we're locked out because funny enough funny enough the key does not work thank goodness the phone works the digital the digital part works i don't know if it's just me like my luck like nothing what do you what do you have there look at soccer moms there you can't trust them all right open the door like my key doesn't work 
I don't know if it's just us, whatever. I don't know. But that is it. We went to uh, BJ's, PJ's Pizza is seriously, I miss it. We used to have that all the time in California. We just don't have that in Tennessee. So we uh, take advantage of it whenever we can get it. We have it in Murfreesboro. Middle Tennessee has it, just not East Tennessee. So we had it while we were out here. That's it. Uh, she got an early game tomorrow, 10-ish. Uh, so we're gonna hit, hit the hay early tonight and uh, we're gonna watch Ridiculousness because that's all that's ever on in these hotels. And uh, that's it for today. So that is it from, is this South Indiana? Middle Indiana? Middle Indiana. That's it from Middle Indiana. See y'all.